Uh, hey guys, it's me, the Twilight Shimmer, and today I'll be recapping the first two episodes of Season 3 of Frontier's Magic called The Crystal Empire, uh, Part 1 and 2. And both of these episodes originally aired on the 10th of November, 2012. So, uh, let's get right into it. So in the first part of this episode, um, Celestia basically summons Twilight back to her castle because she needs her to undergo a test where she has to go to the Crystal Empire. Um, a very old empire which was ruled by an evil pony called King Sombra until, until, the, um, until the two sisters basically uh, banished him away. But not before he like placed a curse on the Crystal Empire, causing it to disappear for a thousand years until it's like reappeared once again, which it has again. So, and so Cadence and Shine Armor are already there trying to uh, protect its people, protect protect its ponies from like like you know like you no know, Samra again, and the. And the main six like make the way there, like by train. And then they're intercepted by uh like Shining Armor who uh who tells them to like hurry up who tells them to make their way like to the Crystal Empire as soon as possible like, as soon as possible because like King Sombra <coughs> <coughs> because the King Sombra uh, because King Sombra's presence is kind of weak <coughs> Now, like in the empire, because of uh, Cadence's shield, of outside the shield, like he, you know, like he's still very powerful, and so he basically chases like them around in the snow. And Shinar tries to fight him off, but then his horn gets corrupted by a Sombra's like darkness, I guess. But they manage to make their way into the like Crystal Empire, uh, Crystal Empire, like and meet up with Cadence. And so after Twilight and the gang like go to library to learn about you know the key to like being Sombra and and discover that need and discover that and discover that they need to fi basically find the Crystal Hearts, which is basically like a magical object that could help banish him. Uh, uh, Twilight has the idea to kind of create a new version of it from scratch. It doesn't, it doesn't work at the end, and in Cadence's magic fails, you know, like, you know, like, because she's very tired. And the shield drops, like, causing Sombra to basically uh, attack again, and that's part one. Anyways, guys, um, part, um, um, anyway, guys, um, anyways, guys, uh, in part two, uh, you know, like, Sombra's about to attack again, but then... And then Princess Cadence is, you know, is finally able to like recover again quickly, and bring up the barrier to uh, to save the ponies from Sombra, and and then and then Twilight tells like Shine Armor to stay with Cadence because she needs him more, and then and then Twilight realizes that you know like the reason why this. Like this crystal heart isn't working. Like is because, uh, is because the real one like still exists like in the crystal empire, but it was kind of hidden away from everyone, I guess. So, and so in order to find it, like she basically gets all her friends to uh, make the crystal ponies happy in the meantime until she's able to like find it again. So after Twilight. Manages to <coughs> after Twilight manages to like do his like do a spell that basically uh turns like turns her horn black I guess like from Celestia and she's able to find a secret um uh, passageway a passageway like to the Crystal Hearts and find it again but then and then Samra uh, who is a like you know, like, but then Sombra, like, but then Sombra, who's able to uh, 
make his way back into the Crystal Empire early, like earlier because you know Cadence fails again. I guess like is able to sense like Twilight's presence in that tower and and traps her. And when I'm she gives the Crystal Heart to Spike. Um, like, um, um, like who has to basically like give it to Cadence to shine armor. I was in a song where it tries to stop him from doing that, but then I, I, then Princess Cadence is able to uh, basically uh, like regain her strength again and uh, fly to Spike and uh, retrieve Crystal Heart, and then and then with the love of all the ponies there, um, but she's finally able to banish Sombra with the like with the Crystal Heart. Saving everyone and turn them all into crystal ponies, I guess. And that's the end of my recap, basically. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.